Hi there again, this is above VTT Bite Size, and this time this is the UI experience for a player. Now, as a DM, you can also see what your players are doing. So, um, all I simply do is select one of the players in the campaign, and um, you can then join as above VTT. As it loads, you will see that we're using the latest release candidate version dot seven 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 release candidate three. So, um, what I have here is it's a slightly cut down version of what the DM would see. Um, top left, top right, formats exactly the same. With select, once again, you can select one. You can do multiple selections. Here, you can also do ruler. Nice and simple. You can also create area of effect items. Now, as it stands currently, you can't delete them, but that's coming. For now, you can just create sizes and similar to the Dungeon Master side, choose different colors and then go into different shapes. Um, you also, as a player, get a chance to look at your various keyboard shortcuts and are able to access the facts. So if there's anything that you need to sort of revisit to assist you, you can do so there. From the combat perspective, when you look in here, you have a different view from the Games Master. Obviously, you see what the Games Master allows you to do, and you've got your round counter, and you can watch it gone. Bottom left, you also have the use of um, dice. And you can also choose to send it to everyone or send it to self. So you press there using your D&D Beyond dice. The right hand side, you can see the game log similar to the Dungeon Master. You can use either everyone or send the roles to yourself. Now, likewise, you see the come at the bottom. I prefer just to clear that, get out of the way. And um, bottom right, you've got the various dice again, or you can choose to um, input detail into here. Now, exactly the same. D&D Beyond Dice, and I've got several 20s in there, which is not so bad. Clear that. Um, top right, similar. I can also fit to screen. I can zoom in. I can zoom in and out as much as I want. Fit to screen brings it back into the screen for me. Um, but if I press Sheet, it actually brings up your D&D Beyond character sheet. Now, from here, if this is too intrusive for you onto the screen, you can do the toggle size and this will then enable you to go around and use your D&D Beyond character sheet. Um, and I'll go into this in a different video. Um, you can then just hide that. We can decide to hide the sidebar or bring it out. Now, what I have here is I have the opportunity to be able to whisper to um, various players or I get to see the details. So this is the DM side, and I can also see the other players in the group. For the sounds, as a DM, you don't get to actually do in as a player, sorry, you don't actually get to do anything. It's it's controlled, at least for now, it's controlled by the Dungeon Master. So this is icons here, but you don't actually get to, to do anything with it. This part on the right is the chapter notes that the Dungeon Master shares with you from their screen. And that is a player is exactly what you see within uh, above VTT.